Welcome back to the Saudi Expatriates channel, your go-to source for all the latest updates and news related to expatriates living in Saudi Arabia. In today's video, we have some important information regarding new regulations in the HR sector and the second phase of Saudization in the consulting services sector. Stay tuned till the end. The Ministry of Human Resources and Social Development in Saudi Arabia has reiterated that jobs in the human resources HR, sector are now exclusively available to Saudi citizens. This statement was made in response to a query on the ministry's beneficiary care account on the X platform, highlighting an encounter with an expatriate working in HR who had arranged an interview for a Saudi citizen at a clinic. For individuals who come across violations of this labor law, the ministry advises using the Ministry of Human Resources and Social Development for Individuals application form to file a report. This step underscores the commitment to ensuring compliance with the country's labor policies. Moving on, the Ministry of Human Resources and Social Development has announced that the second phase of Saudization in consulting services professions began on March 25, 2024. This phase targets a 40% nationalization rate in the sector, aiming to offer more engaging and beneficial job opportunities to Saudi men and women across the kingdom. To ensure the successful implementation of this phase, the Human Resources Development Fund Hadaf, will collaborate with the Ministry of Finance, the Local Content and Government Procurement Authority, the Spending Efficiency and Government Projects Authority, and other entities. This collective effort aims to align the Saudization initiative with the sector's needs and the broader job market. Private sector businesses are encouraged to leverage the human resources and social development systems incentives and support programs. These initiatives are designed to assist in recruiting qualified Saudi workers, providing necessary training and qualifications, and ensuring smooth hiring and career continuity. Furthermore, businesses participating in Saudization can gain priority access to all related support programs. The Ministry of Human Resources and Social Development has also released a procedural guide on its website, detailing the required nationalization rates, professions, and compliance guidelines. It's crucial for establishments to adhere to these regulations to avoid legal penalties. That wraps up our update on the latest regulations in the HR sector and Saudization in the consulting services sector. For more information, don't forget to visit our website at saudiexpatriates.com and follow us on social media. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with friends, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.